Jem's birthday party is to have a fairy theme, and Matt and Rob are out shopping for something to wear. I think I'm a size 14. <laughs> Judging by your reaction, I'm the only one impressed by that. Thanks very much. At Bognor, Dan and Michael are on duty in the skyline. But I reckon about 3,000 guests, probably a bit more than 3,000 guests, uh, will be checking in. I'm not getting used to it. <laughs> one night only, I think. <laughs> Mummy will be asking me time. questions. <laughs> Should we go find Mummy? Do you want to go to Mummy? Do you want to stay there? It's like airport, isn't it, when like, you look for the lost passengers for the last flight. Well, these are kids. They've arrived today, which is Monday, and they'll stay uh, till Friday, so like five days, like a five-day break. Radio, you say two. Radio, you say three. The main summer period is the busiest, that's when like the site is pretty much at capacity um, and that's when everything is like really really like busy and really that's the main part of the year. Um, at the moment we're just kind of building up to it slowly. I've been doing streetwise with uh, Etienne here, man of all uh, mystery. But um, I'm trying to look at my rotor. I've actually written it, written it, written it, wrote, 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 wrote it down because uh, it's a new, improved Dan, so I'm always in time now. Go on, be strong, be manly. Get it right in there. James and Nicky are balloon modelling. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'll probably go to the canteen and just get a drink, so just chill out. Oh, I'm going to see uh, Hayley. Mike, give a call. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to teach James how to make a dog that's eating a meatball. Can you see that? There's a little meatball in his tummy. See that? There we are Oyster Bay. No, we don't know, mate. Oyster Bay Seahorse Drive. Seahorse. It's all alphabetical. This is the first row A. So you're looking for S for Seahorse. That's, 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 look, I'm not sure. Do you like making stuff up to you? Yeah. And He's cheating, not. isn't he? I made that with my fair hand. Um, all the accommodation is with us. We've, here in my, in my head, whoa. Here in Bogdan, we've got, what does I say, my head? We've got three uh, bays. We've got this one, which is all at Oyster Bay, Atlantic Bay. Uh, that's all starfish. Look at me, I'm getting all confused. My mum doesn't really know about these yet. She said, when I went to Taunton today, she said, did you put anything on your top shop card? And I went, no. Jem spent her birthday morning out shopping. So I bought some shoes. What we do is we wander around, we make sure everyone's settling into their accommodation all right, uh, help them carry their bags if they need it, if they're little old ladies, and uh, just generally, you know, wander about and make sure everything's cool, and make balloon animals when we're bored. They're a bit tight around there, and I tried stretching them in the shop, and I've made a hole in them. I was going to try and get a discount off, but it didn't work, so I just didn't say anything, <laughs> anything about it. I didn't mean to just break them, but Abby can sew them up for me. Bless a little art. Just give it a sharp pull. No! <laughs> this guy's going to pop on me, isn't it? I worry about this. All this stuff looks minging off, but on it looks okay. Well, that's what Zoe and Poodle say to me, so they could be lying and I could go out dressed like a freak, but never mind. <laughs> Some house! <laughs> Some else. <laughs> you move away from a home and it's all like, it's all brand new and it's all active and it's all go. There's all like, there's such a good nightlife, such a good social life. <laughs> and then we're going to the Chinese, sorry. Chinese night. The work is, is demanding and you just can't keep up. You can't go out every night uh, and socialise and, and have a really, really good time and then be up really, really early in the morning. Jason and Abby are decorating the place so they're going to be having fun time tonight. I need my sleep, I need my rest, but that's a good thing. Look what I found out I could do with oh, my eyes today, it's well funny. Right, ready? Hang on. Dan's a big star. Oh, quick! Oh, yes, it's still there, yes, still there! Quick, tie the balloon. Ready? <laughs> 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 funny, isn't it? I scared a little kid today, I felt really bad. Yes! Kim and Jem decide to top up their towns. Everyone's coming in for some uh, for dinner now. 
and uh, I've been chatting to these lovely ladies. This is Christine, <laughs> that's Kitty, and that's Eileen. You get a free sunbed when you filled all these up. Two more. You get a free session, my dear. Good afternoon now, sex show is I've got my legs out today. Look at them fellas. No, I'll let you touch them just once. Michael and the orange man keep guests entertained at check-in. Okay, orange man's a red coat, Michael. Are you OK? Get in, get in. Get in, get in. Go back, go back, get in. Yeah, I'm OK. Are you OK? Hold on, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So, if I get a cream, I can spend less money. Maybe. I'm allergic to it. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> what else am I allergic to? Dairy and some beds. Dan is broke and hungry and has to welcome guests to the restaurant. Starving, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a good job I'm here. How are you getting on? I'm great. I'll, I'll come to Why don't you just give them out willy nilly to anyone? Hughes. Hughes! Hughes, please. Beautiful thing to make you go brown really quickly, but I come out and I look like a lobster. I said I have red patches like all over my body and I had stripes and I just look, my spots that were there. It's sometimes meant to get rid of spots, but it made them come out. So, enjoy meal? Yes, Lovely. thank you. What do you have? All sorts. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of each. Would you have a starters? Yes. What was that? Salad. Beef salad. Very nice. Beef salad. Hold on, buddy. Stop the clock! Oh. Pork stuff in balls, is it? Applesauce? No, 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 no applesauce, but plenty of other things. Gravy? Oh, yes. This stuff? And yeah. dessert? Roast beef. All right, most red coats, 25. Really? New red coats, 30. How long have you been here? A year and a half. Hi. Chloe, come in here. Yeah. Let's have a mirror. So I'm going to take my makeup off and put it back on. She's so vain. Hello, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Starving? Yeah, I'm starving. Are you starving? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving. I am sorry. I'm Rachel. Yeah. I'm Dan, please meet you. Hello. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause, please? Redcoat Michael just did a lap of the skyline in 27 seconds. I'm starving now, really. I finished I finish at six o'clock, but the canteen's open till ten past. How red is she? That's so fair. And it turns sound, it goes brown. <laughs> Why can't I get that brown? My belly's a bit more brown, eh? Yeah. But, um, wait, go slow, it's pretty dark, I'm gonna die. Kill me, Kim! <laughs> Centre stage in Bognor. Nikki is getting ready for the Thank evening. Much, Echo six tonight. A new trick on the skateboard. Echo six is just like a, a lost child line, where um, if if a child is found who is lost, or if a, a parent loses their child, they can call me. Uh, on the walkie-talkie, and I can go in and try and sort everything out. <laughs> I was really scared then. Yeah. I've worked out the usual problems that we get, like, where were your mum and dad? Over there. We'll go back there then, and they're usually there. Um, so, so that's quite good. Someone's been chewing that. That's horrible. No, this is what we learned on our three weeks training. Yeah! It's yeah. so funny, right? The pork is here. I see a little bit of pork and I said, can I have another one? He goes, no, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, hang on. I'll, I'll change positions. <laughs> is there another one? <laughs> <laughs> Baby instead, too. Can I the baby? Every country! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm so hungry. Is this coming back to you? Look out! Run! I'm alright. I am kiss of death for these things. I really am. At Minehead, Stephen Mulhern from CITV is on stage doing his show. And it's rather messy. Now, which way round is it? Is it Echo 6 control or is it control Echo 6? Control Echo 6. Control 
it? It's control like 06, isn't it? You should see the state of Abby. <laughs> They're in their gun tank now. And they've hidden an umbrella in there. Can I have a radio check, please? I'm clear. Good evening. Good evening to you. Marvellous. We're all go. Right. Now all I've got to do is, um, wait for everything to open. Coming up, the fairies arrive. <coughs> Nikki hits the note. And Dan gets a warning. Let's just say... It won't happen again. Listen, can I have some more fun? <laughs> Jem's waiting backstage for Abby and hopes to meet Stephen Mulhern. I thought you'd say hi. Oh, do you? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Looking a bit dodgy at the moment, but you know, that's the show. A bit messy. And you say, but it's worth Abby. I live with Abby. Oh, do you? Yeah. She didn't want to get cut. She's had all of her hair done. It took like two and a half hours, didn't it? But she's, it's, it's all messed up. Okay. It wasn't my fault. I don't even know what they're called, but they, they make a noise. Oh, you got pie? Can you come into my bed? I am. Promise. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. I may have to borrow one of their ladders to get my Diablo back later. Guys. Let's be back at work until half eleven now. Abby, 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 guess what, B? I thought you guys were meant to be getting it, We weren't. Was it my hair? Last week and this week as well. I've had it three weeks in a row now. I was doing a walkabout and a small child uh, decided it would be hilariously funny to throw it up behind one of the big signs in the skyline. I haven't got it back yet. I need a big ladder for that. And this is the place to come for big ladders. So we're on the uh, doors now, so we're 8 o'clock, just so I'm greeting all the guests to come to see the shows tonight. Nikki's rounded up some technical help to get her Diablo down. So the situation is that a big ladder is not going to be enough because even the big ladder is not big enough. Basically, be enthusiastic as you can. As a, as a 15 quid Diablo, that, I'm not going to be happy if I can't have it back. It means I've got to buy a new one. Still, give me an excuse to buy a red one. First impressions and all. Uh, I'll give an example. Hi guys, good evening. How are you? Good, good. It's your birthday tonight? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. I've been invited to your birthday party. You have. have I'm I? your friend. Oh, what? And you have. Friend. I'm a friend. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that. It's getting complicated now. We found a door that leads up there, but we need the key to go in. Have you read again? I didn't. <laughs> Have you read? No, I haven't. In my gun <laughs> No, I didn't. Did I just trickled because it was so cold. On <laughs> oh, me. Me, you read in the gun But can I just say, I didn't even play up tonight, nothing. Why do I get it? Bogner, it's the night of the red coat show. This is where we all come and hang out before we go on. It's quite exciting, really. They're not answering the radio, you'll have to go Michael is comparing tonight. So, first thing's done. Cheeky. This is an emergency. Next one's after the Power Rangers. Pardon? Yeah, they just wanted me to radio through for a clean-up. No, we 
Sam's birthday evening starts with a meal out in Minehead. And you can have a paddy if you want because you can cry if you want to. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Dishes. <laughs> 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 you go. All done already. Flies. And script. And mic. Oh, I just want to say thank you very much for coming. Well, we came to the zoo, don't worry about it. Yes, you'll be minging tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> minging. <laughs> the whole arm on everyone's face. Alright, now. Go on. La la. Go on, hi. La 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 <laughs> Random note there. Hang on, I need a napkin in my trousers I bought these today, I don't want to ruin Yes! Oh, so I'm just going to get to so I'll see you later guys Hello! Hello! Oh. <laughs> And now they're here with one of their songs. Please give it up and give a warm welcome to your 2003 Red Coats. I think mine's got a hole in it. <laughs> The first fairies arrive. Yeah, it all went well, it all went smoothly. Uh, really, really warm at the end because we were on there for quite a while on the lights. So it's a bit too much sweaty. I had two after the last performance who were lost and they were sorted out very quickly but none over the radio yet which is good you see my pal Julia Faye you are A good evening, but Dan's facing some big trouble. I've had a, a few, a few bumpings with ladies. Punctuality. Yeah, I'm the angel of the southwest. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the queen of the north, <laughs> not the queen of the south. <laughs> Jamie, Dan's boss, says punctuality is an important issue. Fences are about 15 minutes late from the beginning of a show, and we're missing the show, and it has a knock-on effect. It's not, it's not because I don't care and don't turn up, it's just uh, I get up in the morning, but then it's size detail for 11. I always said at 8 o'clock, get up at 8, 
and then go back to five minutes sleep the next day, you get the phone call from the office. You usually get three proper chances at, at being late if you like and then after that then um, we'll see what you know we take it. But if people can you know lose their jobs for punctuality or lateness. So but I'm uh, keeping time my country right now in time. I'm just gonna uh, arrive earlier, it's 25 minutes earlier to each detail. We did, you know, we put processes and steps such as alarm clocks and asking them to come in earlier. So it was really more a corrective procedure than it is discipline. Let's just say it won't happen again. Ten minutes to go and I can turn it off. Oh, oh, no, Gemma! Shh! Gemma! <laughs> Will you marry me? He makes all the shows go up on time. And he's absolutely massive. He could eat me, he could. We'll be holding auditions. <laughs> so there will be auditions held for bridesmaids. Do you know what's going to be Next on Redcoats, Michael is gunged and Dan gets emotional.